It is here in the center of the Indochina Peninsula in Southeast Asia that a team of Rotarians from Mechanicsburg, Harrisburg, Elizabethtown, Lancaster, and York East traveled in May to provide humanitarian medical services to the poor. Led by PDG Connie Spark of York East, team members from eight different countries participated. The team first set up an eye, dental, and basic health clinic in Northwest Lopbury. Thousands of low-income people came by busload to wait several hours for their turn. Tents and fans were a must to protect against the heat and humidity. The eye team determines visual acuity and screens for accurate prescription lenses while providing contemporary glasses and frames at no charge. Eyeglasses can prevent headaches and allow adults to work to earn money for their families. But she has a cataract in her right eye, so we want to have the cataract taken out. And when she gets the cataract taken out, hopefully that will help her to see better. All right, and he has trouble reading. And, and he, came on me. Uh, he had trouble in reading. Okay. His right eye, due to the injury, we probably won't be able to help much. So we're going to go ahead and do reading glasses for him. This is Dot. He's eight years old. He's very far-sighted and he has strabismus. His eyes turn in when he doesn't wear his glasses. So the glasses he has are were a donated pair that weren't his exact prescription. So now we're going to be able to give him a pair with his exact prescription and he's going to be able to see 20-20 in both eyes. He's better. He's better. Much better. In the hospital, the dental team operates along with the local ties to perform a variety of dental procedures. All 12 dentists are hard at work. Two solar-powered water filtration systems were installed in elementary schools to provide clean drinking, cooking, and hand wash facilities. In the evening, the general population has access to the clean water. Next, the team traveled northeast to Nakam Phanam along the Mekong River. Here, the river provides fish for the basic diet and water for cooking and cleaning. It's a favorite place for a swim at the end of a hard day. Nearby, we are invited to a typical home about a block from the river. Local English teacher Joel Aldrich helps with the translation. We meet the 82-year-old owner along with one of his sons under the corrugated roof of their home. The home is raised about four foot to accommodate the rainy season. Inside, it is dark. There's no furniture here, but the room is ample. To the right, we find another room with a large bed Everyone sleeps here, five children, two grandchildren, all together with the cats and the puppies. The kitchen is on the side porch. The family has a refrigerator, but no electric, a sink, but no running water, a cupboard with no supplies. They're all, the whole family is very happy right here with what they have, okay, which I guess you can see is not all that much, but they have some of the nice things too, okay. The eye doctors get a sincere round of applause when they set up at the local hospital and begin the screening process. This man stayed here for two days for an eye exam. He has sugar diabetes. It has affected his eyes. They gave him glasses. The glasses are going to make him see better. He's very happy that the, the team from many countries came here 
from Rotary and to help the Thai community. After a day of procedures in the hospital, dentists moved to the Nakhon Phnom Central Prison to a field set up. Behind secure walls, the prison houses a separate women's area. Animals and gardens help to feed and teach the inmates. A school is set up to provide an education. The beautiful thing is that I don't have to make people know. That's the, that's the big difference. Don, I'm telling you, I can't believe these folks, I can't, they just sit there, they don't flinch, they don't budge. Evening cultural exchanges allow team members and local Rotarians to get to understand each other better and ultimately leads to better communication.